Uh, let's get into it. So, um, intro time, let's start with that. Okay. Yeah, so uh, welcome to a, another video on VGC. Um, we're starting Series 12 on the uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, this format, it's um, basically similar to Series 11. So, you, you have Dynamax available, you have all Gigantamax Pokemon available. Um, in Series 11, where you can only pick one restricted Pokemon, now Series 12, you can pick two restricted Pokemon. And that allows for some fun pairings there, some fun new synergies, and so on and so forth. Um, so, I'm going with a team which I think is, well, like a, a team competition where most of it is quite common, and just basically starting off from there, see how I do, and then see what I like, see what I don't like, make edits to the team, or pick something different for the next stream. That's that's how we're going to work it. <laughs> We've got, um, I think this goes on for seven months. This this series, so plenty of time to practice, and then each month ladder resets. So plenty of opportunities to hit master rank, get some much needed battle points and uh, bottle caps, and just become a better team builder overall. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the intro done. Let's move on. Okay. Um, right, so do, 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 do. I, have, I haven't actually like talked about my team at all yet, have I? But we will go into verses. So I was thinking of making some changes to the team before I started, um, but because we're starting a bit late anyway, um, I'll just I'll just get started. Um, while I'm here, um, there may be times where I just go on breaks quite regularly because I'm still looking up looking after our firstborn here he's, he's only two months old at the moment and just need to yeah, keep an eye on him and stuff uh, make make sure everyone's happy <laughs> not just the baby but also the um also his mum as well right. i can't neglect baby duties <laughs> oh um frequent viewers of the stream may notice i'm wearing glasses now they are new prescriptions <laughs> my eyesight they are I am long sighted, so now I've been prescribed glasses and then we've got eye drops to take as well because I. I um, yeah, my eyes get dry. We don't need to know that. Right. Uh, we're going to rank battles. Silk specs? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, I, see, I, I just. I probably tried on about 10 glasses at Specsavers and. Yeah, this this these ones sort of like stood out quite well. So no no frame on the bottom. I think they sort of look look quite quite stylish. I think they do. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really like any of the glasses they had there, which had like full frames going around the lens. All right, so we're going to play doubles, as is BGC rule set. <laughs> And just to make sure I have been, yeah, alright, good. <laughs> right, I can turn off uh, pretzel uh, rocks on second. Should we do that? There we go, that's better. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know like, how how well my voice projects over that that pretzel box. It sounded quite loud. There we go. Now I can hear my music. Yeah, that's better. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just show my info. Okay, so I'm going to register my team and then I'm just going to go through like what what my thought process was or like a quick summary of my thought process going into this team. So, here we go. Um, I'll do it that way. Okay. Oh, um, I'm thinking of mixing item names from different games, but it was a thing from Azure Dreams, but it seems like it's not. Oh, well, good luck with the games. Yeah, I've... I, yeah, I don't think I've heard of uh, self spec. I've heard of self scope, but not self specs. But I mean, if, if they if they look like those, then well, <laughs> they they do or they don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get the market going. So, right, so team composition. Um, so I was looking through. I mean, I've tried to look at a couple of videos before starting Series 12 and maybe a couple of sites after that. Uh, not too much, 
But I found that a common pairing for Restricted is uh, Swordfish. So, uh, it's nicknamed Swordfish. So you've got um, Zacian and then you've got Kyogre. So, um, looking at that, I've, um, I guess because uh, Zacian is just like, a, a really good Restricted Pokemon to use, um, as is uh, Kyogre, I guess, as well. So um, Kyogre being able to like, lessen damage from fire, fire attacks, which helps Zacian. And yeah, I just, I mean, I, I, I don't, I haven't read too much into it so, so far. So I know this is a, a good, a good uh, pairing to go with and then sort of build the team around that. So starting off with that, I then thought, well, I've seen many teams that use uh, Kingdra with a rain setup. So I thought, let's let's uh, whack Kingdra on this team, make it like a full on, um, well, full on almost rain team. So I've got Kyogre setting up rain, and then Kingdra benefits that with that with uh, Swift Swim, so double speed. Um, and then we're going to use that as our one of our Dynamax Pokemon, um, using Hurricane, um, which we're going to convert to Max Airstream, gives us a bit of speed control, and then wasn't sure on like the. Um, Actually, I mean, uh, Thunderous, um, I was pretty pretty positive about putting on this team. So, then out of that, so it's an extra way of setting up Rain, because you've got Rain Dance there. Uh, then you've got a whole um, heap of support, other support moves there. So, you've got Eerie Impulse. So, anything that's like a, a special sweeper, um, I'm going to basically um, reduce their, their damage output considerably. Uh, then you've got Thunder Wave there for another way of speed control and also hoping for. Uh, paralysis on the uh, opponent's Pokemon, and then Thunderbolt just says one offensive move in case in case Thunderous gets taunted, then it can actually at least try and attack back. Uh, also got Focus Sash there. No, wait, this is running Safety Goggles. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I think my showdown team is a bit different to this one. So yeah, Safety Goggles to prevent sleep, and then of course Prankster because Prankster if you're running a support Pokemon, I guess, and I've built it to be more more hate well i've put the evs into hp and speed mainly so max speeds and then max hp excuse me and then after that i was thinking of another dynamax pokemon to use and wasn't too sure i was thinking kartana for now um we'll go with it for this team today so it's got Aerial, aerial, uh, aerial Ace there, so um, set up Max Airstreams. Um, got a heap of uh, other support moves there. Uh, support moves there. I'm getting word diarrhea already. Um, a load of uh, attacking moves. Um, so um, got those. Right, we've got a grass, grass type move against other water teams. Um, also, that's why Thunderbolts on Thunderous, Thunderous as well to help with uh, help with rain against rain teams. Um, Running a sort vest because I think that may be needed. Not too sure. <laughs> I think uh, in some of the games I played on Showdown, realised that Katana is actually not as fast as I thought it was. So still, still uh, on the fence about this one. Um, in general, just to round off the team, I, I thought, well, need need a fake out Pokemon, and in general, usually fits the bill um, for most teams. Um, May, there may be better options to put on this team, considering that because I'm setting up Rain, uh, Incineroar is going to get hurt pretty badly by other Rain teams if he's out uh, most of the time. But I, f I feel like we can we can get by. Um, now that I remember, the um, the Incineroar and Showdown had Parting Shot. This is an incomplete team. This this is going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see how this does. All right, so yeah, it really quickly put together. Um, started off with uh, Pokemon, then went on to move sets, and then had a go at EV spreads. We've we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of um, lot of uh, sort of like a um, lot of learning to do to get get a good team to work with um, work with Series Twelve. But we'll yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna go with this. <laughs> All right, intro done. A very very long intro. All right, um, yeah. So um, yeah, if you replace Rakatana, what would you use? I was thinking of other options, maybe uh, Rillaboom, 
as a um, another fake out one. Um, also setting up grassy terrain using grassy glides. So you've got a priority move there in case I get outsped by anything. Um, or if, um, say, the opponent uses Trick Room, then at least I've got a priority move I can still rely on. And there's that. Or there was also Venusaur, which I was thinking about. I did put a team to go and show them which had Venusaur instead of Kartana. But the I think the thing that's making me apprehensive about it is it's not a Sun team. So Venusaur doesn't get the um, speed boost that it usually would on a Sun team. Um, it would be handy against opposing rain teams or against anything that tries to hit me, say, with uh, well, any, any sort of like ground type Pokemon that are going against me, perhaps. But yeah, I was just thinking because the uh, Venusaur is quite frail anyway, I, I feel. So not having that, that way to sort of attack first or like a guaranteed way of attacking first uh, made, me a bit, made me a bit nervous about running a team with, with Venusaur on it. Um, those are the only two options I could think of for now, but what I may do off stream is just look at some more uh, Zacian Kyogre teams, especially ones which have Kingdra in it, and see what other Pokemon people have used for the team. But in, in summary, I've got um, Kyogre and Zacian uh, as my restricted. Not, I'm not often going to go with Dynamax on Kyogre because I want to use Water Spout or Origin Pulse if I can. Um, so Kingdra and Kartana would be my main Dynamaxes on this team. And then we've got Incineroar and Thunderous for support. That's that's how I'm going to run it. So I just need to quickly take a swig because my, my, my throat's getting dry. <laughs> okay. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Right, so that's, that's the team I'm going to run with. So we'll get it going. And we're waiting for our first match. So I'm not going to do pen and paper at the moment. It's going to be fairly basic battling today. I don't know if I pressed that. There we go. All right. Um, so here we go. Here's the team. Um, so we are going against a Landorus, Tapafini, Tyranitar, Palkia, Latius, and Azacian. So it's a Zacian Palkia team. Uh, how do I go about this? So they've got a Tyranitar, they've got their own way of setting up um, weather. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. If I go Thunderous Kingdra, what can they bring against me? Maybe Tapu Fini with, um, with something? Uh, Kartana, what would that outspeed? That would outspeed. I think that would outspeed everything on there except for Zacian. I think what I'll do is I'll try Kartana. Uh, bring in Thunderous, because the only thing that's going to resist the Thunder Wave there is Landorus. Um, I reckon Kyogre in the back. Yeah, just go Kyogre, Zacian in the back. Yeah, <laughs> not much thought is going into this process at the moment. It's, it, we've we've had about two months break from battling. It's going to take me some time to get back into this, I reckon. Even if I'm doing practicing off stream. All right, so here we go. All right, so we've got Zacian Tyranitar lead. So, what can I do here? I think if I Dynamax Kartana, uh, should have um, should be fairly good against uh, well, should resist fairly well against Zacian, I think. I need that Tyranitar gone. Yeah, if I go Dynamax Max Knuckle into Tyranitar, or do I want to go with something that's not going to immediately... 
No, let's, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And then do Thunder Wave on the Zacian. I want to reduce the speed of that Zacian. All right, Tyranitar's going in favor of what? That is, okay. That's fine. Alright, so is anyone protecting on this turn? No, a fight to move into Latias is probably not going to hurt that much. Right, no protect. We get a Thunder Wave off. Right, Max Knuckle into Latias. How much? Not a lot. But we do raise our attack by one. Yikes. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Steel types don't get hit by um, by sand. <laughs> All right. Um, so I feel like we're going to be possibly losing Katana after this. So what we'd like, what we would like is oh, what's what's more, All right? There we go. This just trying to think. I don't. Right, you're going to protect anyway. That's fine. Ah, villain. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a Katana in the back. No, we haven't got a Katana in the back. We've got a Zacian and a uh, Kyogre. Both of which might do fairly well here. So I... Quick attack, is that a common take on Zacian? It's, it's not, no. <laughs> you... I think the most common ones are probably play rough and uh, play rough and behemoth bash at the moment. A couple of I think a couple of people I've seen using close combat. Okay, so we're gonna go. F I'm gonna try and go for a water spout here because I feel I should be faster than the Latius, but I haven't looked up its a um, its speed. I'm gonna assume that I'm faster. Go for this. I'm gonna perhaps assume that they're gonna bring in um, bring in Tarantar again to reset the weather. So I'm gonna go Rain Dance here. Or now do Thunder Wave on uh, Latius. All right, they keep it in. All right, so both of them are paralyzed now. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. They're gone. All right, so we've got a Tyranitar and one extra Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. It's probably going to be Palkia in the back. Completely forgot there that um, that's you know, a quick attack, so it was going to obviously lower the uh, output of my um, of my water spout. Um, right, Palkia. Palkia is a special attacker or a physical attacker? I'm trying to decide because which one to decide, but um, well, which one it is determines whether or not I should run Eerie Impulse on it. I'm going to go Origin Pulse on both and feel like I want to do Thunder Wave again. Let's do it. 
Yeah, you know it, they're going to Dynamax. So they've still got Taranta on the back. I think that's probably going to come, going to come out at some point to remove the uh, weather. Or it may not come out at all. Alright, you protect, that's fine. How about a Thunder Wave? Just Thunder Wave everything. <laughs> you protected. Yeah, do like a barely nothing. Oh, Max Lightning, okay. Oh dear, bye bye, bye, -bye Kyogre. <laughs> Alright. I've at least worked out that their um, Palkia is special attack. So now I can do an uh, eerie impulse on it. And life orb. Okay, so Tyranitar on the back. And it's not in the Dynamax, so I think I think we're okay as long as we as long as we play good here. They got two more turns of Dynamax. Let's go for a play rough. And let's go for an eerie impulse. There you go, have some of that. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so you've come out with a um, light screen. I didn't. I didn't read what that was. I was. I wasn't paying attention. That right, sand screen comes out again. Ah, oh, reflect. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> Alright, I think I can get off a... Ooh. Would they go with an Earthquake? Is it gonna matter? Is it gonna matter? I feel like I need to double into the Tyranitar. I'm gonna... Protect and rain dance, perhaps. I can't remember, but I think that sandstorms uh, raise special defense for certain Pokemon. Oh, it is going to be earthquake. Got a worry here because um, Landris is going to be quite slow now. Right, I think I can get a Behemoth Blade off here and hopefully knock him out. Unless it's sashed. Uh, all Rock Type will now have the special event raised by 50, but ah. Good stuff. Alright. Alright, I'm going to try and double into the uh, Tyranitar here. Does Behemoth Blade get the knockout? Dashed. Damn it. Ah! But we still outsped them. And I'm pretty sure I had two speed drops. So I think we just eked out a win there. <laughs> I 
and I'd. I mean, maybe they'll just maybe they'll just concede, but let's see what happens. Right. Gonna play it out. Respect. Oh, and they had rocket helmet after all that. <laughs> Not that it matters. We win. Uh, yeah. Um, I think I was worried about the Palkia, but actually that 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 actually worked out pretty well for us. Um, so yeah, something to remember there that the play rough on the Zacian does well did a lot of damage towards that Palkia, even in its Dynamax form. So well worth running that move. Um, and then yeah, quick attack caught me off guard with the um, with the Zacian, and it, it caught me off guard twice because I forgot about it the second time. But yeah, anything I could have done differently. Um, don't think there's much I could have done differently. I think I had a pretty good matchup against that one. Maybe the Kartana wasn't doing much, but yeah, I think I, I think I did pretty well there. So um, yeah, I'll just move on to the uh, next match. Um, oh, actually, let me let me check the uh, time. Okay, yeah. Um, what I'll quickly do, because um, yeah, I've got the uh, little and the um, other room there, so I'm just going to be gone just for just for a couple of minutes, um, just to see how um, how mum and uh, baby are doing. So bear with me one second. Yeah, apologies if that playlist on Pretzel Rocks is a bit, bit naff. <laughs> I'm still on the free tier of Pretzel Rocks. I'm just giving it a try out. It's nice that it's royalty-free music, but I, yeah, I haven't, haven't, um, I'm not paying for the, uh, for it at the moment, so I can't set my own playlists and stuff. So I have to go by different radio stations on it, and some of them are a bit hit and miss. All right, um, yeah, let's go back. Wait for it to come back. Eventually it comes back. <laughs> All right. So I think so far we're on a we're on a win streak. I don't think I've lost any matches yet. But, but I think maybe one came close to losing. Um, this this is off stream, by the way. Oh, train a red VGC. Good luck with the battles. Thanks for the good luck. <laughs> All right, um, let's go on to the next match. Oh wait, um, I'm not going to press that yet. See how far we're doing on ranks. Yeah, keep going up. 
Got some battle points, that's always good. And then we wait for our next match. And straight into another one. Here we go. Okay, so uh, this one's going to be uh, Zassin Kyoga. So Zassin Kyoga Mirror. Um, they've got a Mianchel, they've got a Grimmsnarl, they've got a Zapdos, and they've got a uh, Rillaboom. So against against that, what do I do? So I've got to worry about the um, Grassy Glide from uh, Rillaboom. Which would knacker my uh, Kyogre. Um, I feel like I feel like a Kingdra lead would be good here. Kingdra Dynamax. They they'll only set rain on their team. Yeah, I think. Yeah, if I if I bring Kingdra, I've got to worry about um, Grim Snarl and Zacian, I guess. So I go Kingdra and. I'm going to start off with Kyogre, but then have maybe Incineroar or Thunderous. Yeah, go Thunderous, I reckon. And then, then I guess bring my own Zacian. Or do I bring Kartana? Bring Kartana, I think. Go that. Here we go. Let's hope that works. It's always difficult the uh, the third or the four, fourth Pokemon to uh, bring with bring with on the team. Uh, not afraid to open double water into Zapdos. Yeah, you got a good point, <laughs> but I, I think I'm okay. Well, we'll see how it works out. Uh, I mean, they got Kyogre and Yanchao anyway, so I'm expecting like maybe a maybe like a fake out to start off with. They're probably gonna identify like very quickly that I'm gonna probably go with uh, a Dynamax on my Kingdra here. Um, would I be able to stall them out? Would I be able to double protect them? I think I could. Let's see what they do. They might do a switch out here. No, they're gonna, they're gonna go Dynamax, okay. Would it be Max Lightning, I guess, then from Kyogre? I feel like it's probably Max Lightning it's gonna come out with. That would help Zapdos if they got it in the back. Now that I think about it. I just feel like if they use a water move, then it's not going to hurt me too much. Yeah, fake out. So I read that one right. Max Lightning, read that. Ah, oh, good. Yeah, about as good a read as I could do, because I don't really want to bring in anything to get hit massively by the uh, by that uh, Max Lightning. Alright, um, so we've still got Swift Swim up. Um, no longer have to worry about Fake Out. Um, but what other Pokemon did they, did they have? Um, so we've got Zapdos perhaps, uh, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl and Zacian. I feel like they've probably got like a Zapdos in the background. Um, if I go Dynamax, Max Airstream into Mian Xiao. And then... Knowing that they've got um, thunder on that one, um, maybe I'll bring in I'll bring in Kartana, perhaps. <laughs> oh, they've withdrew me and shall. Okay. The rid of them. Rid of them's gonna get hit. That's good. I just worry that Kartana's probably gonna get hurt. Massively by a uh, Max Lightning. Right, here we go. So I'm doing Max Airstream. Gonna be upping my speed by one. 
um, which doesn't benefit Kingdra much, but it will benefit Kartana. So that's, that's nothing to sniff at, is it? <laughs> I do have to worry about um, Fake Out. That's still on the cards. So what Pokemon have we got still? Um, Thunderous and Kyogre. I feel like it's going to be a, a fake out on Kartana. Yeah, <laughs> Kartana is quite literally a piece of paper. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to go... Max Guard, perhaps? No, uh... Let's go Max Airstream and then let's bring in Bring in Thunderous. Hopefully hopefully Thunderous lives. This one's got safety goggles um, instead of focus sash. Oh Dassian. <laughs> Right, that's be the last last turn of um, Kyogre. Well, last turn of Kyogre having um, having Dynamax. Don't hurt me too much. Ah, oh, took it like a champ. <laughs> ah, there we go. And they're small again. Right, and I feel like oh, if I do max worm worm wins, then that lowers the attack of uh, Zacian. But I, I, I need it gone really, so I feel like I should go max Geyser into uh, Zacian, and then go. Go Thunderbolt into Kyogre. Let's do that. Kyogre's going in favour of what? Rillaboom. Ah, so we get a Thunderbolt into Rillaboom. That's always nice. That seems going to protect. That's okay. Maybe Max Worman would have been a better move, but we'll see what happens now. Mm, still not enough. So I could muddy water both of them. But that grassy guy's hopefully not going to hurt as much as I think. Let's do it. And then let's do Thunder Wave on the Zacian. Oh, Zacian goes anyway. <laughs> oh my god, so many switches! <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep can't keep track of them. Oh, I get a Thunder Wave onto their Kyogre, so that's fun. Oh, we live. <laughs> Muddy water on the both of them. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> bye bye, Rilla. <laughs> Right, 
and the rain has stopped. So now they don't get their rain boost until I bring out my Kyogre. Why target the Thunderous instead of Kingdra? Um, yeah, not sure. Yeah, because Grass Glide would have done neutral damage against um, against Kingdra. So, yeah, no idea. <laughs> Alright, uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna go with Muddy Water here again. Should do a decent damage to uh, Zacian. Go with a Thunderbolt, I think. No, wait, uh, we could do Eerie Impulse on Kyogre. Actually, you know what? We'll go, go Thunderbolt. That's new protects, because that's all it seems to do. <laughs> oh. Well, there we go. They missed as well. <laughs> Alright, we've still got a speed advantage because we just haven't had to switch out yet. So we're still... Even though Zacian should be faster um, when Kingra doesn't have the uh, the rain boost, uh, we've had so many like sort of max airstrings we've done, we, we still outspeed them. Um, I'm just going to click Muddy Water again, I guess. And... So Muddy Water and... I really do want that Zacian gone, but yeah, we do do Thunder Wave into Zacian. And there's pretty much not a lot that they can do. Oh, they still have the Mien Shell. Ah. <laughs> so we need to make sure we get rid of that as well. That's right, we, we, we clipped Muddy Water. That's it, we get, get it on both hits, of both targets. And Kingdra is finally gone. <laughs> good work, Kingdra. You put, <laughs> you put in a good job there. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. So I can I can bring in Kyogre here. What do I feel like they're gonna do? I feel like my Kyogre would be the greater threat here. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a fake out. It's just picking which one. So, yeah, if I if I manage to get Water Spout off now, then that's that's bye bye to their um, to their Zacian, and then I've got a Katana that can uh, clean up against their um, against their Kyogre. I feel I need to protect here, and then. Maybe do a Thunderbolt on the Mien Xiao if I can manage. I feel like they're just going to fake out the Kyogre. Yes! Alright, Thunderbolt should take care of Mien Xiao. Yes! There we go. Yeah, try to double into my Kyogre. Not happening. Not today. <laughs> yeah, it was it was trying to work out what's the greater threat that I'm presenting to the opponent, and in that case, it was Kyogre. So they they had to do something about my Kyogre, otherwise they're just gonna lose. And then all I had to do is to click protect because they there's no Dynamax threat. So here we are. Alright, um, so both of those are paralysed. We will go first. And then I can Thunderbolt Kyogre if I want. There we go. 
and then water spout finish. Yeah. <laughs> Just felt like that deserved a sound effect. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that was, I mean, that was that was a fairly good one. The um, the Mian Chao was uh, worrying me, but in the end, we um, were able to play around it. Um, had a really good position for most of that, most of that uh, match because, um, yeah, they weren't. They weren't uh, presenting any sort of uh, threat for Kingdra for quite a while um, until they decided, oh yeah, Zacian can do play rough against Kingdra. Why don't they use that? They um, they went for that and then yeah, it's make, making sure I was doing the uh, doing the reads that I needed to do. So making sure that because um, yeah, I could have just clicked water spout straight away with that uh, that Kyogre if, if I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, using protect. Uh, baiting a fake out as well as a play rough and and then just um, securing victory for the next turn I I'm pretty pleased with that um, so yeah that was a good match right uh, so let's go on to next match yeah hero fund <laughs> hero fund with seven life <laughs> he, he had a bit more though didn't he um, I've I probably need to re um, re look at the uh, clip, but I'm, I'm sure he had more HP than that. Or maybe um, Rillaboom did really lay into him. Uh, so let's have a look at their movesets and stuff. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, I think that's that's around about the moveset I would I would expect from a Zacian, not one with uh, quick attack. Although I've seen a meme on, meme on uh, Twitter where I think... Someone said, "This, this is my Zacian, and then here's the opponent Zacian, and it just listed about like twelve different moves that it could possibly be carrying, including stuff like, um, it's like power whip and stuff like that." And you think, "Why? It's, it's, it's got a good move pool, I think, um, Zacian, but um, I think these moves are probably more consistent. Although, as as with most things, it probably depends on depends on the team you're running." Um, Oh look, wide guard. Why didn't they use that? Well, actually, thinking about it now, the um, I don't think I presented really an opportunity for them to use wide guard. I was there uh, because they were expecting Dynamax. I did Dynamax, and Dynamax, um, you don't have any spread moves, so there's no point in doing wide guard there, is there? Um, we didn't see any Zapdos. Um, so I was, I was thinking earlier in earlier in that match, the um, because the Kyogre did Max Lightning, I thought that would have synergized well with Zapdos if it came in and started doing Thunderbolt Volt Switch, but it never never materialized. And yeah, pretty standard Rillaboom. So I'm guessing that's Assault Vest. Yeah. And then Choice Scarf. Oh well. <laughs> So that that Kyogre was Choice Scarf all along, and I didn't I didn't realise. <laughs> oh, I think I dodged a bullet there. Right, I think we got got up to uh, Great Ball rank now. Let's just check. Oh, close, close. But we're not there yet. Actually, I think it goes up to like rank six before it goes up to Great Ball. But we we're, we're doing good. So let's get our next match in. Hopefully the next match gives me a chance to hydrate. So we give an energy drink and then chase it with water. <laughs> I'm hardcore me. Alright, so our next match. Um ooh. Uh, Zacian and Rayquaza. Uh, that's that's um interesting. Uh, alright, so Rayquaza, so it's gonna be 
shutting down any sort of uh, weather that I set up. Um, got Regieleki there, so it's basically fast electric type. Um, I haven't really got anything to deal with Regieleki, so I'm just going to try. Yeah, that's going to make things uh, difficult. Uh, Rillaboom there with priority moving. Then you've got Grimmsnarl. This could be a difficult team, I think. Um, so what do I what do I go with? I can't rely on Swift Swim. So on that basis, I think Kartana's probably the, the way to go. Just trying to think how to play that. All right, let's go with it. Um, we can go Thunderous. Um, bring Zacian. And maybe I want Incineroar here. Let's go. Yeah, do it. This this might not go well. <laughs> yeah, so it actually looks like a, a fairly well built team. Alright, so Regieleki Ray Plaza. I'm not familiar on the speed of Ray Plaza. But probably what I want to do is look that up. Okay. Yeah, so it's got airlock, so we can't we can't rely on doing anything that it's probably gonna do max airstream against me, isn't it? Alright, um so I think max airstream into the Ray Plaza and do Thunder Wave. Probably gonna see some electro web um, being used as well. I feel like I want to Thunder Wave it though. Alright, so at the mo well yeah, I don't know if, if we're well. We're not. We're not quicker than the Regieleki. I just wonder if we're quicker than the Ray Plaza. Ray Plaza protects. We didn't get that off, but it's gonna be a box switch. Box switch into what? Grimstar, okay. Oh, that does next to nothing, doesn't it? Um, oh yeah, that's why, because they protected. So we've got, been given a speed upwards. Um, now... Perhaps we might be seeing fake out. Um, I'll go Max Steel Spike into the Grim Snarl. I feel like that's going to be worth it. Um, see if I can get a uh, Thunder Wave up onto Rayquaza anyway. I'm probably going to get a fake out from the Grim Snarl. If not, they're going to set a barrier up. So Mega Rayquaza or Mega Snarl? No. Mega Ray, not Mega Ray. Um, Dino Ray. <laughs> there we 
go, Thunder Wave. Okay, so going for Reflect. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we like that. So now I'm going to get a tasty beast boost onto Katana. Yeah, nice clean hit. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh, the paralysis hits! <laughs> Oh, we love to see that. Ah, laughter in the void. Hiya. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, this, this person likes to think out their moves. In reference to that Grim no, Snow. That's a lot of damage! Alright, out comes Reggie Alecki again. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just playing ranked at the moment. Good stuff. Are you um, so you getting getting into series twelve? Are you? Yeah, it's probably first first stream into into series twelve. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, we could go max steel spike into Rayquaza, I think, and then do a eerie impulse into Regieleki. Have some of that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be Electro Web. Oh, Cortana avoids it. We're getting, we're getting a, a lot of luck here. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, do, you, do you battle viewers at all? Uh, uh, no, unfortunately. Um, most most of the time, I, I just do uh, streams on Battle Stadium. Um, maybe something I'll think about in the future, but it's um, I'm still quite fresh into um, Series 12, so it's going to be a, a lot of... Um, well, at least the streams for the foreseeable future will be me just learning the format, getting good at it. Um, but yeah, um, viewer battles maybe something I'll look at later on. Uh, you may have to watch this space. <laughs> right, uh, where are we at? Go. Nope. Oh god, running out of time here. Yeah, just got to move in there. Let's really weaken that Reggie Lucky. Ah, uh, what a shame, no, no problem play. Yeah, sorry about that, dude. <laughs> ah, they finally use a move. Oh, was that a critical hit? No, that's just basic hit to knock me out. Damn. But they should now be back to normal. All right. So, um, who should I bring? I think bring bring Incineroar. They've still got a Zacian. I need to worry about. Here is I can go fake out Regieleki and then go Thunderbolt into Rayquaza. Uh, they may protect. Um, they may, may bring out their Zacian. That should be okay. 
Uh, lol, I ran into a Trick Room user. <laughs> um, I've, I think um, who's who's the person who's um, hitting high rank quite often at the moment? It's uh, was it Joe UX9? Um, I think he's been hitting number one every like almost every single day of um, of Series 12 so far. But he's what he was talking about. He was. Yeah, he was he was saying that Trick Room could be like a really good uh, play um, into Series 12 because at the moment a lot of people are running them um, like fast teams, like the like the one I'm playing, like the one others are playing. It's probably a good strategy to use, but I think don't think anyone's like properly utilised it yet. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah. Ov overall, I think the um, I think that there is potential for uh, Trick Room to work. But I just need someone to put the team together. Uh, da -da -da. Can I thunder wave them? No, Trick isn't even that good. Um, I may I may have to like. Um, have a go and see if I can see if I can work a trick room team. I I did have fun with a trick room team back in series ten, I think. Maybe a different one. I think it can work. Don't do Earth Power. Meanie. Uh, hasn't Trick Room been quite popular across series? Yeah, I've, yeah, I think there's been like a decent amount of people were running running Trick Room, but I don't think it's um, from what I've seen, and I haven't seen a lot for this uh, series so far. I don't think it's been as popular yet. For this this series, I think it's just waiting for someone to make make a really good team out of it. All right, uh, priorities here. Who do we want to prioritise? Right. Let's let's do this. Substitute instead. If I substitute. Mm. Uh, let's, let's do it. Um, what I could end up doing is just um, maximising the turn while they try and protect. Right, so they protect. I then use substitute. Do they earth power the Zacian or do they earth power the Incineral? Earth Valley and Cineral, okay. And they knock themselves out. Brilliant. <laughs> of course, now I've got Reggie Lucky to worry about, and it's going to be sashed, isn't it? This is going to be our first loss. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, da, da, da. Uh, freeze hacks their Dynamax to Hydreigon. Oh, that's that's got to be the worst. <laughs> like managed to pull off like a, a freeze against your opponent. I'll tell you what's worse than that: having them four out with its one in five chance. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna play rough the Regieleki. Be brave here. But probably what's going to happen is I'm going to get um, get Behemoth bladed. Yeah, of course you're sashed. <laughs> yeah, 
that that sucks. Yeah, this is gonna knock me out. I should have preserved another Pokemon for this uh, this end game. But I don't think I was in a position to. Oh, there we go. That's that's my first loss so far for Series Twelve. <laughs> on on Showdown, no, not on Showdown. On Battle Stadium, on Showdown, I've lost a lot. Okay, that was bad. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I think it, I think what it came down down to in the end was just picking the uh, picking the wrong Pokemon to Flare Blitz. I could have Flare Blitz the um, Rayquaza. And then they wouldn't have wouldn't have knocked out Incineroar. Incineroar would have stayed, and then it would have had two v two at the end with a um, a substituted uh, Zacian as well. But I think possibly what I could have done towards the start of that match was um, try and just chip away at um, Regieleki by some some means so that I don't fall for so I don't get don't get um, punished by that uh, focus sash near the end. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, and you, you won the match. Well done to you, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Oh, hold on, I'll just end this match here. Yeah, so that's, yeah, conclude that match. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> so I've, I've just got like a stream deck going on here with like um, marker buttons. I'm going to mark the start and end of each each segment so I can just put it into a YouTube video at the end. Um, yeah, if you... I guess I could do my socials now if you want. So there's my um, there's my YouTube. And then there's my Twitter. So yeah, this... What I'll be doing is I'll be editing this video and then put it onto YouTube. And then you can see my channel there. And then um, like and subscribe, as they say. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's, let's move on. Alright, so we take a hit. That's fine. Let's move on. Yeah, so I, I do think that Trick Room could work. But I'm waiting to see someone else build the Trick Room team. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Next match. Okay, so we've got a Sun Team. Alright, so we've got uh, Charizard, Venusaur, Mimikyu, Calyrex Ice, Groudon, and Incineroar. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So they're going to be setting up Sun with Groudon to benefit either Charizard or Venusaur. We could go with... I mean, we also need to worry about um, that... Uh, Calyrex Ice. But I feel like I'd go Thunderous to start off with. Um, if they if they bring Incineroar out, that could fake me out. So what I should do is have yeah, Kingdra and Thunderous at the start, have Kyogre in the back, and bring my Zacian. Would Zacian be wor worth it here? Or should I bring Kartana? Kartana is going to be even more of a um, wet paper bag against the against the Sun team. Uh, I'll bring Zacian. People say Trick Room could work all the time, and then I watch them lose, and also never never beat me while using Trick Room. Damn. <laughs> it it all it all happens though. You you may you may get may get too confident there, and then then. Out comes the Trick Room team of Series 12, <laughs> and then it absolutely just wipes the floor of everyone. It's bound to happen. Just got to give it time. Okay, so this is not a lead I was expecting. Could work to our favour. Were they... Now, were they expecting me to come out of um, Kingdra? Oh, this is hard. Um, da, 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 da. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you what probably they're doing. 
is they're probably going to try and bring in Sun. Let's go Rain Dance, and then let's go uh, Max Airstream. This feels like they might might do Trick Room. Although I feel they're trying to like bait me and I think they were expecting me to lead with Kyogre. I'm about to double fake out this person. <laughs> oh, they didn't switch. That probably is Trick Room now. <laughs> oh, Sashed Venusaur, damn it. Sleep Powder, perhaps. Yeah, damn it. My bad. But this this is um, showing me that Venusaur could still perhaps work outside of us, outside of uh, Sunset up. Okay. So now what do we want to do? I think we need to... Do Thunder into Mimikyu and then... I don't know, maybe, maybe we might be able to um, get out of, this, um, out of this sleep. Let's try Max Guard, see if we can get it. They might get me a play rough. Oh, they withdrew it. In comes Calyrex. Kingdra starts to sleep. Weather ball. Meanie. Thunderbolt into Cataract. Do I want to um, Thunder Wave the Cataract? It will make it faster in Trick Room, of which there are three more turns. I feel, it might, I feel it might still be still be worth it. Let's do it. Um, try and go for a max guard here. See if we can see if we can wake up. Venusaur comes out. But at least I'm forcing him to do manual switches. I've got Zacian in the back. Ah, Kindra woke up. Good. Get Max Guard off. Get a Thunder Wave on um, Candy Rex. Max Hailstorm into Thunderous. All right. So now, we, now we lose Swift Swim. Could be handy. Still haven't broken the disguise on Mimikyu. Uh, hmm. I want to go with um, Dacian here. I say... What should I do? Let's 
trying to think of what, what to what to do here. Right, Behemoth Blade, would would that take out Calyrex? I reckon it would. Worth worth a punt. They've also been thunder waved as well. And then we'll try um try Muddy Water against both of them. Just to break Mimikyu's disguise. Good, paralysis, nice. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, I wasn't expecting that. Right, this is not going to do as much damage as I was hoping. It does a fair bit though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Weakness policy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love to see it. And we break Mimikyu's disguise. Well, there we go. So much, so much for your sweeper. <laughs> so, yeah, we we benefited from the uh, Thunder Wave in the end. They weren't able to attack for one turn, which then um, gave us a bit of. Um, Gave us a bit of leeway. All right, so now, now here comes Groudon. All right, how many more? Um, how many more turns of Trick Room have we got? One more turn of Trick Room. Okay, so Ground is going to go before me. Right, I can go double protect here. Which I will do. Out comes Venusaur, okay. So I feel like what I should do next is I should bring out um, bring out Kyogre on the next turn. Yeah, you, you can you can do sword stance all you want. I will get you. Okay, so twisted prevention to return to normal. I will bring out Kyogre here. And then I will do Muddy Water. So we're we're switching Chlorophyll for Swift Swim. And we're hoping for a good amount of damage on the Groudon. Let's see what happens. Come on. Muddy water, hit them both. Yes. Yeah, boy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Go, Kingdra. <laughs> So now they've just got a Mimikyu, um, I, I mean, I'm fairly positive we win this now. So let's just go straight in with um, with our worst. There we go. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was that was good. I, I was worried about that Cadorex, um, but see. The worry there was that by doing Thunder Wave, we make them make them faster. I think they were I think they were slower than all of our Pokemon anyway, so would have gone first anyway in Trick Room. So now that I think about it, Thunder Wave wasn't hurting us. 
and we just had a potential for them to get fully paralysed, which hit for one of those turns, and that was really good. Because then that allowed us to um, position ourselves better. And yeah, I'm trying to remember how it how it went in the end. So yeah, that's that's what happened. So we did Behemoth Blade, brought um, Cataract down to like a fair amount. Of, I think it was a decent amount of health left for a Dynamax. But then uh, Money Water just about got it. So then we got our KO on the Calyrex, and that pretty much turned it round to towards our towards us. So lucky in a way, but we um, obviously we, we managed that luck. <laughs> All right. So um, yeah, that was the that was that match. Um, I'm going to be right back. I just need to do a quick check on the uh, on the baby. So. I will be back in a few minutes. I'm just going to put you on to um, Pretzel Rocks' um, choice of music. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Right. Okay, so now we're on to our next match. Um, I'll just go quickly take this chance to hydrate. So, baby's doing well, and well, starting to get tired. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to um, to get the baby to sleep. But he does he does event eventually um settle in. <laughs> I 
Go baby! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, homie to homie. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, chat to the baby and then just use the uh, use that opportunity for a quick comfort break as well. <laughs> Alright. Oh, bar mushroom. Love bar mushrooms. I don't. <laughs> Alright. Let's get on to the uh, next match. So we we got one loss so far. Um, now we're back onto well, got another win to put it back, put us back where we were. Right, let's wait for our next match. Yeah, so that's yeah. So six battles so far done for this uh, series. So I've only done two matches off stream. I'm still very fresh into this uh, this series. I think the I think the team composition shows. All right, next match. <laughs> right, so we are against ooh, Zernia Zernoga. Uh, so they got Zernoga, they've got Thunderous and Kingdra. Um looks similar to mine almost. Uh, they they've got a lot of water support on their team, so it makes me feel like I need to just bring counters to that. Um so Kartana um seems like a good option. We just need a way to um stop Kingdra from uh, from steamrolling with a um with like Swift Swim. And they've only got say one one Excadrill there. Just seems a bit out of place on that team. Um Right, what do I do? Um I feel like Thunderous and then Kartana. Thunderous can do Thunder Wave on Kingdra to um, lower its speed again. Kartana should be faster than the rest of that team. Um, bring... Uh, bring Zacian. And then... Do I take Kyogre? Kyogre's not got a lot going there. Um... I'm going to push for choice here. I'm going to go with uh, Kingdra just because I don't think Incineroar is going to do well here. Oh, we're on. Oh, thanks. Sorry about that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we'll come back in a second. Just give it a, give it a minute. There we go. We're back. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for spotting that. Sorry about that. I've, I've pressed all the buttons apart from going back to the main scene. Okay, so we got. Xerneas and Thunderous. Now, that Thunderous is not going to be Prankster, I think. Could be wrong. So, what do I want to do here? Feel like going. Might be a Volt Absorb. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, so. Volt Absorb. My question is, would it absorb a status electric move? Shall we find out? I feel like I need to find out. And then let's go Dynamax, Max Steel Spike, Xerneas. Get straight in the mix. So what could they possibly have in the back? Um, potentially the um, the Kyogre. I'm feeling like it's just going to be like a common uh, Geomancy setup. Not that it matters because bam, <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, delete Xerneas. <laughs> oh, they're going to Volt Switch. So, what are they bringing back in? Kyogre, perhaps? Yep, yeah, here we go, Kyogre. 
Kyogre and I'm guessing we're going to see Kingdra here. Here he comes. <laughs> All right, so um, here's what I can do. Uh, what, what do you use for the soundboard? Um, I'll, I'll tell you about it in a second. I'm just going to pick these moves. Uh, right, so we want to thunder wave that Kingdra. Absolutely positive we need to do that. And then we want to max overgrowth the um, Kyogre. Right, so now I pick those moves. Um, whatever happens, happens. Ah, uh, Thunderous is coming out. But I'm sure we should still be able to Thunder Wave that uh, Kingdra. So, yeah, I started off with the Sound Alerts app. Uh, well, the Sound Alerts extension for Twitch. So I had a lot of these sound effects on there. And, um, yeah, if you're watching on mobile or uh, watching on the PC, I think you should be able to see those. Um, what I've also got now is I've got a uh, stream deck so um, yeah stream deck it allows you to set up uh, sound effects so you can just have the uh, the sound file on your PC and then you set up a button on stream deck and you just press it and then it'll, it'll just open the sound almost immediately which is uh, really cool <laughs> right coming in with Max Geyser Alright, we lose our Thunderous. But we did get the paralysis on them. Yeah, that's 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 no bother. <laughs> no bother. Right. Uh right, so we've got options here. So they've come back with uh, their Thunderous. Uh, what have I got? I don't think I've got anything that can really hurt them. Um Come out with my Zacian. They still got Kyogre in the back, so I need to be wary of that. All right, so I think play rough the Kingdra. Play rough Kingdra, and then we'll just do. Um, Do Do Max no no not Max Airstream. Um Do Max Knuckle. Yeah boy <laughs> Get out of here. Times like this where it helps where you're playing a similar team, you sort of know its weaknesses, and then you can. Sometimes you can see the the opponent just like having. You can see massive openings on like for you to just work around whatever strategy they're building up. I'm sure I had, I had like a coherent sentence to explain what I was thinking there in my head. Then when it comes out of my mouth, it sounds completely different. Alright, they should have just a Kyogre left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a good reason to play a different team though, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. The um yeah, play play as many different teams as you can. That's probably one thing that I I don't do. I, I usually pick say one specific team and then just keep trying to tweak that. It's it's two different ends of the spectrum, really, isn't it? Because you could you could say keep playing different teams, never really mastering any of them, and you just get more frustrated the, the more losses you accumulate. Or you have one specific team that you play really well at. But then each time that you find something that straight up counters your team, um, it can leave you down and you, you think, well, maybe I should change the team. And then you just you get stuck in sort of analysis paralysis mode. And then you just, you just um, 
think I'm losing my train of thought again now. <laughs> yeah, basically both both of those um, both of those methods can lead to analysis paralysis. So either you're constantly making tweaks to the team, or you're just being really stubborn in your team choices, thinking, "Well, sure, surely it works. Surely I'm just not playing it that well." Uh, not what I meant. Playing different teams gives you first-hand info on how to defeat those teams. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Um, that's the. Uh, that was that match, and that match went went uh, really well actually. Um, so it was mostly a mirror, but we uh, yeah we seem to have worked around that pretty well. Uh, identifying that Kingdra is going to be a nasty Pokemon to go against on that team. So. Having Thunder Wave against it was good. We didn't know if um, like a Volt Absorb or anything like that would draw away um, status type electric moves, but we found out it doesn't. So we've learned something from that, that match as well. So that's always good. So I just got to remember, if it's a status move that's electric type, it doesn't get absorbed by say like Lightning Rod or stuff like that. At least, at least it doesn't work for that one. Um, let me just check because Obviously, Thunderous Therian might have different abilities. But I reckon you may be right that it probably had Bolt Absorb. Yeah, Therian form, so it only has Bolt Absorb in the uh, Therian form. Sorry about me. And so, when a Pokemon with Bolt Absorb is hit by a damaging electric type move, its HP was restored by one quarter of its mixed HP. Ah, so it's different to Lightning Rod then. Uh, oh, Volt Absorb will now also activate when a Pokemon with it is hit by an electric type status move. That's from Generation 4 onwards. But I wasn't um, doing Eerie Impulse or um, Thunder Wave onto, um, onto Thunderous. So that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah, just just uh, reread what you what you said there, uh, Zimmy. I, I was I was thinking you meant I myself play different teams. Um, but I see what you mean now is you just you just have one, you have maybe one team or like a set of teams or just a bit of both, isn't it? Um, so you just get get a couple of teams, so you can get a feel for how they play just by playing them, and then you go against opponents that have a variety of different teams, and then I guess I guess you see. You can see what's what's quite common on some Pokemon, what like common move sets and stuff. And you've also got tools for that. Um, but yeah, Eve. Yeah, like just doing loads of battles, it's just really worth it. <laughs> keep on, keep on fighting. All right. Um. Um. Uh, nah. All right. Um. You know, I have no idea of like how my markers are going for this uh, this stream. Because I've got Stream Deck set up to add stream markers, but I don't know how well it's doing at the moment. Let's see if I can check it on um, Stream Manager. Hopefully, it should tell me how many markers have been added on. Mm, it doesn't say. Ah, I'm just gonna have to. Um, Assume that it is adding markers as I go. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. All right, where are we now? Rank six. Be good if we can get to Great Ball. Even greater if we can get up to Ultra Ball. Uh -huh. All right, let's have some BP. That's always nice. Wait for our next match. Here we go, next match time. Okay, so it looks like Oh they got they got two types of weather on this team. So they could have um, they could have sandstorm, they could have um, rain as well. Uh, they've got a Cadarex Ice there and a Kyogre. Um, so Kartana's looking good here. Um, what would out, what would outspeed it? Don't think anything on that team would outspeed Kartana unless it was carrying like a choice scarf or something. 
and I'm going to go with Kartana as my as my lead. Uh, who do I bring with it? I can bring Incineroar. Um, do I bring my own Kyogre? If I bring my own Kyogre, then that's a good switch into their one. Yeah, I think besides besides that one Kyogre, they like everything else there should get hurt pretty badly by um by my one. And then last one, um Let's go with Zacian here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, Thunderous may not be as good here. But I could have been completely wrong. I don't see much in the way of uh, speed control on their team, apart from, say, Mimikyu may set up Trick Room. Alright, so they've got Incineroar Kyogre. And I've got my Incineroar and then Kartana. Okay, so that. So what I know now is that that Kyogre is choice scarfed. No, that would be wrong. <laughs> Kyogre's going to be faster than Incineroar, and Incineroar's quite slow. Ignore everything I just said. Alright, um, I think. Let's go. Max Overgrowth into Kyogre. And then we'll go Fake Out into the Kyogre as well. I don't think that they're gonna. Well, I get, I get the um, first Dynamax off. So if they Dynamax as well, then it's not Choice Scarf Kyogre. We've got the potential to set up defensive boosts against their um, physical attackers. We're gonna get a Fake Off out against their Kyogre. That's good. And we take out that Kyogre, that's good. Nice. Now I've just got to worry about the Flare Blitz from that uh, Incineroar. Although, we've got Rain up, which helps. There we go, we take it like a champ. <laughs> Okay, so what's coming up next? Mimikyu, okay. I could at least read a bit of Katakana. <laughs> Alright. So I feel here... What are they? Ghost Fairy. I think I can... Max Steel Spike. Because that will up our, up our defence. And then... Yeah, we'll double into it, I think. Go Darkest Lariat. Yeah. Let's try that. They're trying to go for Trick Room. We need to stop them from doing it. Darkest Lariat, how much is this going to do? Not enough. <laughs> Although, um, oh no, here we go. We're going to see um, Cataract's, uh, Shadow, uh, Cataract's Ice now. Let's 
So what we're probably going to see next turn is we're going to see a um, Shadow Sneak. I didn't bring Thunderous so I can't paralyze uh, Calyrex this time. We know Mimikyu is not going to protect here. And yeah, I guess I, I guess we've got to do something against this uh, Cataracts. Mimikyu gets withdrawn in favour of what? Tyranitar? Oh, no, Incineroar. Okay. It'll be tough. I have got Kyogre in the back. Going we'll Max Hailstorm against who? Tartana. Okay. Right, that's fine. He says. <laughs> Weakness policy. Now I could protect here to stall out a turn. That seems like a like an option. No, I can't because <laughs> Kartana does not have any protect protect mode. Uh, does weakness policy proc from weather? Uh, no, it doesn't. It's um, it has to be a super effective move against that um, against that Pokemon. Um, I'm going to bring out Kyogre just because I feel it's going to be able to um, last a bit more. All right, and then I'm going to do Flare Blitz into the uh, Calyrex. Just need to chip away at it. Yeah, so it has to be a super effective move that hits the uh, Pokemon. So I think most of the times I've seen it, the weakness policy strategy um, on the um, on someone's team, it's been like a really, really like low low attack power move. Oh, you got to fake out my Incineroar, are you? Villain. Oh, Max Quake. Eek! Ah, damn it. Right, how many turns is that? Uh, whereabouts are we at now? Right, I think I've got no other choice but to bring out Kartana here. Kartana is not going to enjoy this. Probably going to get absolutely bodied. <laughs> um, Alright, oh, two more turns of trick room, damn. 
But that should be just one last turn of um, of Dynamax. But at least there's that. Let's go for Smart Strike. Yeah, I could have really benefited from having Thunderous on this um, in my four. But hey ho. And now I'm reminded that Kartana um, is probably my only answer really to um, to Incineroar over there. Oh, they're gonna double me. They're gonna double KO me. Ah. Yeah, they've got me. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a monstrous combo though, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think this one's a case of me bringing the uh, bringing the wrong Pokemon. So, what did they start out with? They started out with Mimikyu and... What else did they have? I think I'll need to... There's another one I'll need to review. But yeah, I've, I've only got Zacian now and... I can protect on this turn, but then I think uh, the rain is going to. Oh, you KO'd the first one. I can't remember what the first one was. <laughs> oh. All right, so back to small, but you've, they've had so many like attack boosts. I'm not going to live here. Um, so I need to do this. Live through this last turn of uh, Trick Room. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm earning anything by um, doing Substitute here. So I need to Behemoth Blades the... Uh... Would they protect, I wonder? They may do. Um, yeah, maybe we, maybe we play rough the uh, Incineral. Let's see what happens here. That was probably a bad play, because they're probably just going to whip me with Glacial Lance now. Oh no, high horsepower, they can do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh well. It was... I think that was a lose-lose situation. Um, actually, maybe I could have won that. Um, hold on. Give me a second. You know what, I think I may have just made like a real, really bad misplay there. Uh, let's have a look here. So Incineroar, Pikalytic set, let's go for that. Um, and then Zacian, Pikalytic set. Uh, Rain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I made a misplay there. So I would have been fine going against the um, Calyrex Ice. So what I should have done instead there was I should have done Behemoth Blade against Calyrex Ice try and go for the KO there and then Incineroar wouldn't have been able to finish me ah but then but then Mimikyu is, would still be there Mimikyu would still be there but then have to you know no what I could have done was I could have yeah, I think the better play would have been to try and KO the um, the Calyrex Ice. Then after that, there would be Mimikyu and Incineroar on their side. Then I'd go for Incineroar. And then I think either Mimikyu will try... I think, I think there's no value in Mimikyu going for a Trick Room at that point. So Mimikyu will just basically try and go for a damage, damaging move to try and 
finish me after after Incineroar's attempt. Actually, um, thinking about it as well, the Incineroar may have taken enough recoil damage at that point to have been knocked out anyway. But now, now we're thinking too too far into it. We've we've got a loss there. We're just going to take the L. <laughs> All right. So yeah, unfortunate, but we'll carry on. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, okay. So in, it was Incineroar and Kyogre. We KO'd Kyogre. So then they brought out Mimikyu. Okie dokie. So it was Kyogre, Mimikyu, uh, Calyrex Ice, and. God, I am I am bad with remember, remembering like team compositions. <laughs> no, no, I've, I've just said it. In, Incineroar, Incineroar, Mimikyu, Kyogre, and then Calyrex Ice. There. Uh, swap Mimikyu with Incin for Fake Out. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? It was it was Mimikyu and and Kyogre in the front. Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rewatch that. Right, let's continue battling anyway. Oh, that felt like I lost a lot of points there. All right, so currently at six wins, two losses with a um, a slapdash team. Here we go, next match. All right, so we have got ah, there's no restricteds on that team. All right, so let's let's have a look at this. So we've got Klefki, potential trick for him. We've got a um, a Cradily there, a Bravery, a Zapdos, a Lapras, and an Incineroar. Now, no no match is a free win. Although I don't fancy this person's chances. So. All right, so if I go Kyogre Kingdra, what could they be with to prevent me from doing what I want to do? Um, you know what? I think. Oh, I know because Cradilly could have Storm Drain. I've got to worry about that. Maybe we go. All right, I, th I think I need to work out what they've what they're going to start off with. So maybe Incineroar Thunderous. Um, then we bring Kyogre's Asian. They don't have any restricted on their team, so maybe I should just bring both of mine. Let's see how this goes. Alright, Clefkley and Lapras. Clefki could be going for like a trick room perhaps. The Lapras could be Dynamaxing. Yeah, this is awkward because because there's no restrictors on the team. Um, but I have no idea what their what their Dynamax Pokemon are going to be. We have got. I mean, we we can go um, Dynamax with Thunderous because I don't think we've brought any got Pokemon to Dynamax ourselves apart from say Kyogre or Thunderous. Let's do it because I, I don't I don't feel like um, I don't feel like Dynamax in the Kyogre in this match. Worried about what that Lapras is going to do. What it could be is there could be a Lapras and a um, Cradilly with some some form of ability that absorbs water type moves. All right, they are going for Gigantamax Lapras, I think. Oh, 
Oh, look, there it is. I can't remember what this what is. G-Max move does. G-Max rest of the... No, Aurora Veil, that's it. Ice type move, I think, that sets up Aurora Veil. And for full on screens. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, this policy. Ah! <laughs> Guard to just stall him out for one Dynamax turn and then do Flare Blitz again on Clef Key if they let us. Yeah, what other Pokemon have they got? Uh, everything everything else there apart from Crazy will get hurt by, um, by Flare Blitz. Let's do that. Right, they're not switching out. They are taking out the Incineroar. do here is yeah, bring in Zacian. Yeah, I've definitely made a couple of mistakes here. Um, see if we can get around them. Uh, Behemoth Blades could be interesting here. Yeah. Behemoth Blade is just effective, it says. But I feel I want to stall out their turn. Alright, so I go Max Lightning into Lapras and then we'll go Substitute with uh, Zacian. Ah, mini. Right, at least they didn't um, go into the um, into the Zacian again. Do get the substitute. Oh, this is this is not looking good. All right, I think I still think we need to get rid of the Lapras. Um, so I think do this. We do Behemoth Blade against Lapras and we just pr protect with the Kyogre. But they're, they're trying to egg us on into using like a water type move. I want to stop that. Oh look at that, freeze dry. <laughs> 
Right, come on, go for it. Go for the KO. There we go, that's nice. Right, that that took a lot of resources to get through. Um, but we've still probably got like a Cray Dilly or something else in the back there. Oh god, we've got Zapdos as well. Uh, -da 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 um, mm. I feel like go Origin Pulse. Just because that Zapdos is going to mess us up. <laughs> Please live. There we go, that was nice. <laughs> ah, good, the Aurora Aur Veil uh, wore off. Alright, here comes Cray Dilly, okay. Now, Cray Dilly, what could that have, I wonder? I feel like take out the Zapdos first. That's imperative. Right, substitute faded. Ah, oh, good stuff. We're going to get a play rough out on Credilly. Oh, first time chat from Sweaty Feet. Hi, is, is this your team or a rental? Ah, this is my team. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> it gets... He gets um, put some effort in. Alright. With that amount of health, maybe we can um, make do with just doing like a um, ice beam. Let's go with it. And then... Maybe we try and protect. Try and protect with Zacian, please do it. Yes. I'm hoping they leave Kyogre alone. Oh, Kyogre goes before him anyway. Phew, we win it! Yes! <laughs> oh, squeaked through that one. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was an unexpected team. So, no restricteds on that team. But I think there was a lot of sort of like anti anti-water Pokemon so I mean I'll, I'll double check it now just to make sure that what I was thinking was right but yeah that, that worked out pretty well um, yeah so yeah this this is um, team, a team I've put together um, so I think the Kyogre might have been from, from previous games maybe from uh, Sun and Moon uh, traded over um, the Zacian is, um, is the event Pokemon so just like um, was it the mystery gift one, and yeah, the rest of the team is sort of either like bred up or I've transferred it over from another game. And yeah, I've put together a couple of Pokemon. Um, hope that it works. Um, it's been working pretty well so far, but we are still in the low ranks on the Battle Stadium. We're trying to slowly work work our way up uh, towards um, towards Master Ball rank, and then we can. And then we just um, keep going. So um, yeah, this is the team we've got at the moment. And as we as we do more and more streams, we'll um, either make tweaks to this one or just build a completely different team and uh, go with that. So the aim of each month is to get up to master ball rank. And then if we achieve if we achieve that, then we try and get as high rank as we can. Um, right now we're still in the beginning stages. This this will probably be the hardest month to get up to master ball because I've got to, got. To, do a lot of work to get up to the top because we're to that Pokeball rank. If I can get to Master Ball rank this month, then next month is easier because we start off from uh, Great Ball, I think, from rank nine. 
as opposed to rank six, I think, which is what, what we're at now at the moment. Basically, there's less matches to get to the top. So it's requiring the most effort is this month, I think, and then after that is then just working on making sure we stay consistently at Masterball at the end of each month and then just sort of get better at team building and then <laughs> try and get out to like the um, into like the uh, top 1000 that would be lovely but it's probably a good good way uh, way away uh, so you're in Pokeball as well right now haven't played properly for months yeah it's, isn't it the way <laughs> I last played seriously around yeah November so I think it was halfway through November I was starting off on series 11 and then my um, my first child was um, was suddenly just due two weeks early it, he should have arrived around the start of December um, but yeah he decided he wanted to come out quicker <laughs> so after a week in hospital um, came back came back with him um, he had to go back briefly because he had uh, jaundice um, but then yeah once once baby was born I was just off for uh, two months um, so I've only just come back onto Twitch last week because um, Legends Arceus came out and I, I thought that was a good good time to do sort of like a just a first time playthrough <laughs> yeah so um, it's yeah, obviously the schedule is all over the place at the moment still because looking after the child but um, trying trying once a week at the moment on streams so no no like actual fixed time but seems Friday seems to be the good the good day to do right um, did I even press the marker to the uh, end end that battle I don't think I did I'll do that now <laughs> alright uh, let's go on to the next match Continue. There we go. We're so close to getting to a great ball now. We need just probably like one, one more win, I think. That may get us get us over the line. Yeah, been been enjoying getting into these matches again. So um, I hope uh, those of you in the uh, in the stream have been uh, enjoying watching me play. <laughs> oh, here we go, next match. All right, so we're against a Solgaleo Kyogre team with a Noctowl. That's I'm not sure what that's what that's going to do. Um, got a Rotom Wash, got a Cinderace, and then a Clefairy. So Clefairy with Vanguard, uh, Cinderace probably has uh, Libero, so probably carrying a whole heap of moves. Uh, Rotom Wash could be a threat. Um, what to go with, what to go with. Um, I feel like Incineroar is good. Maybe Thunderous is good as well. We can go for paralysis, I reckon. Um, do I want Katana or Kingdra for my Dynamax? I'm going to go Katana, I think. And Kyogre or Zacian. I think with Rotom Wash gone. Our Kyogre should be good. Let's go with that. Yeah, homie to homie. Yeah, you're killing it. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> nice to hear that. Right, here we go. Right, Noctowl and Cinderace. Oh, and of, and of course, they, they're going for a full shiny team, I think. Alright, I think it's going to be Dynamax, um, Dynamax in the race. So what would I like here? Um, I think Fake Out Noctowl. 
maybe go um, Thunder Wave into Cinderace. Try and re reduce their speed. Oh, not Tails going out. So Galeo is going in their place. That is a sexy shiny Togaleo. <laughs> oh, what did they change to? I guess they changed to fighting type. Oh no, to protect it. Okay. I just wanted to scope out what my moves are. All right. Um. Ooh, gotta be gotta be careful around that Solgaleo because it's probably got weakness policy on it. So I think if I'm you turning against anything, well, I can you turn against it. That's fine. Uh, let's go. Let's go for the Thunder Wave anyway on the Cinderace. This looks like a good chance for me to bring in uh, my Kyogre. They're gonna um, Dynamax. Soul Galeo, I guess. I could have Thunder Waved it. Why did I not Thunder Wave it? My bad. But then we Thunder Wave the Cinderace, which might be just as good. It's going to be Max Quake against my Incineroar, isn't it? Oh, we live. Eat that berry. Way Cinderace is paralyzed. Okay, now, um, I would have wanted to uh, Dynamax Kartana, but they've Dynamaxed their Solgaleo. I feel like what I should do is go, go Dynamax Kyogre. I don't think I have the speed advantage yet, so careful here. Alright, so what's the order? That one, okay. Do that into that. Uh, do Thunder Wave as well. I'm not too worried about that Cinderace right now. See if we can do a good deal of damage to that Solgaleo. This probably won't pick up the KO. Just because they, they got that Max Quake off. Cinderace protects, that's fine. Hey, that's not bad. Max Mindstorm. Yep. That's fine also. <laughs> Alright, so at least you don't have to worry about any sort of like fake out, but I don't think we were worried about fake out anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I feel like eventually I want to take care of that Cinderace. Is this the time to do it? No, I feel like we we double into the Solgaleo. Or is that a, is that a bad move? No, I feel like we should be okay. So Max Guard is my fault. Uh, 
Did they try and sucker punch me? They did, didn't they? Well, there we go. That was fine. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at these Pokemon now. Uh, info. Right, you've changed yourself to Dark type. Let's do that. Oh, we've drawn Sogaleo for what? Kyogre. Ah, we're going to do a Thunderbolt into him. Lovely. Doesn't matter that their Cinderace keeps doing protect every other turn. <laughs> Have some of that. <laughs> Alright, now we lose our Dynamax. Alright, so we should be able to manage a um, Origin Pulse here. And then we'll do a Thunder Wave against their Kyogre as well. Why not? We've paralysed half their team already. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, goddammit. Psychic Drone. I got greedy. <laughs> I got in the back. All right, let's have a look. I've got. Oh, I've got a katana that could take care of him. I've also got an incineroar. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Yeah, let's bring out katana. The idea here is I feel like their Kyogre is just going to protect. I need to go into the Cinderace, I think. And then Thunderbolt into Kyogre. Oh my god, stop switching them out! <laughs> Cinderace. Alright, I think I think we're in good standing now, so yeah. Thunderbolt against Kyogre. Oh wait, oh I completely forgot about Locktail. Alright, I think I am faster. I think I am faster. We do take care of Solgaleo. There we go. Hypnosis on the Tornadus. Okay. Think we're okay still. Alright, 
right, so thinking about it, they got a, a Kyogre they're going to be bringing out. I mean, if, if they do, like, do anything. There we go. So what could they do? They could Hypnosis Katana. That's bad for me. Um, I could take care of their Kyogre. They didn't have to worry about both Thunderous Katana and Incineroar. They've got to be able to, you know, Hypnosis every single one of them. Um, let's go for this. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on. If they protect, it's bad for me. Aerial Ace, I think, and then Thunderbolt Kyogre. Kyogre Ice Beam. I live. Boom. Is that then a um, choice scarf Kyogre? I think it is. Interesting. I'm going to bring in Incineroar here. And then try Thunderbolt again on the Kyogre. Is a choice scarf Kyogre. And now it's dead. <laughs> Woo! Alright, now let's uh let's see if we've um, gone up a rank. So yeah, um Yeah, I don't know what the speed is of Noctowl. Let's let's just see what the speed is of, of that. But I'm fairly sure that Katana is faster usually than uh, Kyogre. Yeah, 109 versus 95. 90. 109 versus 90. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was definitely choice scarf Kyogre. I mean, we knew anyway because they they got locked into Ice Beam. But um, yeah, I wasn't wasn't sure what the Noctowl was going to do. Um, you're saying it has um, Fake Out. Let's have a look. Noctowl, move to oh. Pokemon DB says Fake Out. Fake Out. Fake Out. Fake out. Oh, I don't. I don't see fake out. Fake out. Oh no, it should get it. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, not there. <laughs> and now I can't remember. What, oh, that's it. Hypnosis. It did to us. So just there really is like a, a sleep um, sleep status user, or just like a support Pokemon. Um, what's its speed? Speed seventy. That's not very good, really, is it? <laughs> I don't think there was anything really to worry about with uh, Noctowl, and then I paralysed half the team as well. <laughs> I don't think there's much more I could have done to secure a win there. Alright, um, yeah, okay, let's go on to the next match. I could have checked their team actually and find out what they had. Whee! There we go. We did it. <laughs> Great ball tier. First, first step towards master ball rank is moving up to Great Ball. <laughs> I think. No, it'd be moving up from like normal rank to Pokeball. 
Anyway, we got there. Alright, let's celebrate with another match. Hey, 20 BP. So we're currently at 80% win rate so far, which is pretty good. And here comes our next match. Alright, so we've got a Zacian and we've got a uh, Kurem White. And we've got Incineroar, Tapifini, Thunderous and Whimsicott. So they have the potential to set up Tailwind. Could be troublesome. Um, that means our Kingdra is not going to be looking too hot if they get, get Tailwind up. I feel like I need Incineroar out here. Maybe Incineroar Kartana? Look at that, that's probably not bad a shout. Yeah, Incineroar Kartana. Um, and then... We definitely bring Kyogre, I think. Do we want our Zacius, uh, Zacian? I think... yeah. Yeah, because what's, what's uh, Thunderous going to be able to do here? I mean, Thunderous would be able to do Thunder Wave, which is helpful. I'm going to play it Reckless and not bring Thunderous. <laughs> Let's see where this gets me. Scott and QRM. We we do want to fake out the uh, fake out the Whimsicott. What I don't know is I don't know how fast that QRM is. That is a worry. Do we just double into the Whimsicott? We could do, couldn't we? Let's do it. Set up um, Max Airstream as well. Oh, they withdrew it anyway. Oh well. <laughs> well, there goes that. I think... Oh, Kieran's protecting anyway, so we don't need to worry about that. So we've got to speed up. Um, I think. Um, oh wait, Kieran might be um, might be slower than us now. No, it won't. It won't. It won't. Uh, U-turn Incineroar if we can. We'll probably get faked out here. And go. Love to do that, but. Uh, I feel like I feel like this is this is more what I need to do. Yeah, so they they're going to Dynamax now. Just bad for our bad for our Katana.
I didn't do fake out. Oh, Max Flare, damn it. I, like, Kyurem always confuses me when I battle against it. I swear it's Ice Dragon type. Why <laughs> is it carrying fire moves? Bring out Zacian. Cops. I've got to fake out again. <laughs> Alright, so how many turns of uh, Dino Axe have we seen from them? Just one. Played will be super effective against them. Let's try that and then let's do fake out on the Whimsicott. Yeah, because if, if I don't, then it's they're just going to set up Tailwind. Oh, this removes it again. Oh, they're intimidating the crap out of me. Of the outplayed it. I, I, oh, there we go. Was that a critical hit? Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> well, there we go. That worked out for us. So we've got Whimsicott, an Incineroar, and something that we haven't seen yet, which is likely a Zacian. Right, so I do protect here. And then probably flare blitz the flare blitz the Whimscott, or do I just uh, U-turn the Incineral? Flare blitz the Whimscott. Let's go for it. Good old focus sash. <laughs> Was thinking it would have it. All right, so they're still there, which is good though, because um, we still outspeed the Incineroar, which they have on their side. We, I mean, we have to take it out anyway. Let's just do that. Um, what I may do is bring out my Kyogre in, in place of the uh, Incineroar. Right, they're protecting, that's fine. And then we take out their Incineroar. Good stuff.
Now they bring out their Zacian. What we could do here is, I mean, they 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 are entitled to do a um, substitute with their with their um, Zacian if they want. Um, I'm still going to do Incineroar just to give them a stat drop, and then we will do Protect with our Kyogre. Ideally, what I want is I want to be able to fake out their Zacian if I can on the next turn and then do Water Spell or Origin Pulse or something. Probably Origin Pulse. See what, what goes down. So what are they going to do? Ah, Sacred Sword, okay. So, um, yeah, what I could do now is I can fake out that Whimsicott. And then we do... I'd say do Origin Pulse here. Still got our own Zacian as well. Let's go for that. No, that wasn't the double protect, that's fine. Oh, they're going to protect from both of them, okay. Alright, um... What to go with here? Bring in Alsacian. Oh, actually, info. Ah, Tailwind's gone. Ah, but I can just bring it straight back up again. Alright, so I'll do manual switch to my Zacian and then do protect with uh, Kyogre. They were intimidating the crap out of me, now I want to do it back. <laughs> Tailwind and probably Sacred Sword into my Incineral. Yeah. And now, do I. What could I do here? I could. Yeah, I could Behemoth Blade the Whimsicott. And then bring in Incineroar. Thus preserving the um, Kyogre. I need to take one of them out. Hoping they let me take out the Whimsicott. <laughs> or I just hopefully keep stat dropping the Zacian. Right, helping hand, that's good. Alright, so what are they gonna go for here? Silly move. Silly 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 move. Now I've got the upper hand. <laughs> I'm not going to let you take it back from me. Alright, so I could fake out, but they could protect. Um, so instead, I'm going to play into that. I should be able to substitute with that amount of HP. And then, yeah, try fake out. Substitute the Zacian. Get the fake out. And I get my sub. <laughs> Just about managed to get the sub. <laughs> Alright, so now I can Behemoth Blade and I can Flare Blitz. 
There we go, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that was a good setup for the end. So it almost got into a trap there of the uh, that Whimsicott just keep hitting Protect when I was going to try and attack it. Uh, luckily I got, got through there in the end and uh, managed to set that up quite nicely. So yeah, that could have... Um, yeah, did they did they protect on that last turn? I think they they might have. No, they didn't actually, did they? Because I, I did fake out, managed to get it, and then I um, and then I did uh, substitute with the uh, with the Zacian. So I think that was the that was the good play. Because if they if they protected and tried to go into it, then no, nah, actually no, screw that. Um, I think once the Whimsicott was gone, that was um, I think that was pretty much game for me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that was that was good. Thanks. So I'm gonna take take a quick break, just gonna need to check on Bebe. So I'll be back in a second. Hopefully, baby is asleep right now. <laughs> gone, into, gone into the room, checked on mum, checked on baby, and he is fast asleep, sprawled out in his in his crib. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, he's asleep now. He's, um, I think, last couple of days he's just been a bit, bit more lively, a bit more, uh, a bit more unsettled. I think it's one of these sort of developmental leaps that they have, either that or growth spurt. Um, he's certainly got a lot bigger since um, since when he was born. 
um but it's every every now and then, i think every now and then, uh, every now and then he um they go through develop, developmental leaps and then that usually makes them a bit more restless a bit a bit more of a pain <laughs> but oh otherwise he's yeah he's he's a lovely little boy now <laughs> he's uh, starting to smile back starting to stick his tongue out to communicate with people that's quite nice and I'm looking forward to hearing first words from him <laughs> all right uh, let's go back to the main page there we go that should reappear in a second Right, then let's let's carry on. Ah, good stuff. So first match at Great Ball and we've done pretty well. Let's just keep keep going. And um, so I'll probably carry on until about three o'clock ish. Maybe just before that. And then we'll uh, we'll finish off. So if you're, if you're watching right now, um, yeah, be sure to check out my other stuff. Um, so you've got my YouTube channel, uh, there it is there, and then also uh, you can follow me on Twitter there as well. That's the uh, that's the link there. All right, next match. Ooh, let's get my stream markers. Okay. Ooh, got um, there's a Zygarde and Dialga team with a, a Whale Lord, <laughs> a, a, a um, Oh, comfy. Oh, that's not good. Uh, then we got a uh, Lorantis and a Celesteela. This is an interesting looking team. All right. Um, I feel like Kyogre Kingdra may be a really good lead here. I do have to worry about um, about that comfy though. Comfy is just fairy type, I think. So. It should be okay. Right, so Kyogre, Kingdra, um, Thunderous, I feel is good here. And then we bring. Oh, do I bring Zacian or do I bring Incineroar? I think Kartana's wasted here. Um, I'm going to bring Zacian because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, well, certainly a colourful team this person's got. <laughs> Alright, so what are they leading with? The other is I got. I'm gonna bring in Kingdra and Kyogre. Would they go with? Um... Yeah. Do I do I want to Dynamax just yet? I feel like I don't. Wormwind will be super effective against the Zygarde. The the Alga I don't think pressures us uh, pressures us too much unless it's carrying Thunderbolt. So I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go with Yeah, Max Max Geyser and then we're gonna go with Ice Beam into the uh, Zygarde. Just double into it. Here we go. I hope I made the right play here. We're going to see Dynamax Zygarde. Or Dynamax Dialga. Dynamax Zygarde, okay. Right, I wonder, would... 
Would a beatdown from Kingdra and Kyogre be enough to take it out? That's probably going to uh, trigger its uh, power construct. And I forgot about its weakness policy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, now we're probably going to be up against uh, Trick Room, I guess, now. Yeah, there we go. Against a Lorantis key. Now, I know... A Draco Meteor on that Di Dialga, but I'm gonna have to give benefit of the doubt here. Uh, right, so I'm gonna protect with uh, Kyogre. Luckily, we don't have any uh, Dynamax to worry about now because they just they just spent it. Oh wow, Draco Meteor missed. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Thunderous. That could be handy. Uh, let's do Max Guards there and then we'll bring out uh, Thunderous. So now we can probably have some fun here. Um, so let's go with. We'll go with Hurricane into the Lorantis. And then we'll go with Eerie Impulse into the Dialga. That seems like a good play. out for them did it <laughs> right uh, info one turn of trick room left lovely all right so what I want to do now is protect and then we'll do I think we'll do thunder wave on the alga They withdrew him anyway. The Celestina. The Celestina is going to get hit with paralysis. Nice. And there we go. Oh, the rain stopped. Uh oh. Ah, actually, it's fine. Fine, because I can reset it. Let's do that. Yeah, out comes the algor again. Yeah, 
yeah, we got him. We got him. <laughs> well, we sh we should have him now. Still got to get through um, get through a set of Steeler that may be problematic, as well as the the Algo as well. I think what I do here is I do Eerie Impulse on the uh, on the Dialga. So here I will go with Yeah, I could do Yeah, Draco Meteor do that and do Eerie Impulse on Dialga. Person taking their time, aren't they? Oh, I don't think they're happy. <laughs> Especially when I get my Draco Meteor off after they missed twice on King <laughs> Really gotta hurt. <laughs> Alright, um what to do here? I think muddy water and then do Thunderbolt on the Celesteela. That seems like the way to go. Finally taking care of my uh, Kingdra. Good job, Kingdra. You did really well. Uh, Meteor Beam, okay. This will hurt. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Oh, that's that's a shame. All right, okay. Um, uh, now I guess we just come in with Kyogre and just sweep. Water spell, and then I guess Thunder Wave, just to make sure that they're not going to go quicker than us. There we go, that takes care of victory. And I mean that's that's fairly good that is, because that's that's only one Pokemon that we lost in that match. Woohoo! So, so far we're, we're doing really well. So I think we're 10 wins to 2 losses. Obviously that, that win streak, I, I don't think it's anything to sort of think about because we're, I think we're at quite the, um, still at the low ranks on um, on Battle Stadium. So shouldn't really be paying that much attention to the um, win percentage, but I mean, 
obviously if I'm losing a lot at the start then obviously the, the team needs needs a lot of work but it's it's doing well so far but it's it I think it's yeah needs needs a lot of tweaking all right okay so next niche oh, we've got Ray Candy nice uh, let's have a look at their team uh, so yeah, fairly standard to the steamer uh, the Waylord, uh, Oblivious keeps it from being infatuated or falling for taunts. Uh, we didn't see Comfy, that was, that was good. Um, then we got our yeah, power construct. So, other cells gather to aid when its HP becomes half or less, and then the Pokemon changes to its complete form. I oh, didn't, didn't even see that. See, I, I thought I was worried with that one because I thought that it was going to go into um, activate power constructs halfway halfway in, during the turn. I guess it waits for the end of the turn to do that. And there's our um, Dialga, that's looking pretty standard. Okay. Alright, fine, we've looked at that enough. Alright, let's go on to the next match. Oh, very close to rank 8 already. <laughs> this is good. We've got time for maybe two more matches. We'll see how this goes. Enough to hopefully get us to rank eight. And then what I could do is just carry on off, carry on off, off stream. Um, if I hit master ball before I get onto the next stream, then so be it. Um, we'll just then start to move up the ladder. <laughs> So our next team, oh, Zamazenta Kyoga. Okay, um, so we've got Kyoga, Zamazenta. Uh, they've got their own Kingdra. They've got Raichu, um, got Zapdos, and guessing that's Dark Type Urshifu. So got potential either like Nuzzle, Encore, Fake Out, or something from that Raichu. That's that could be bad. Um, I don't really have a lot that can uh, take care of it. So that's a worry. Although if we're if we're bringing our own Kingdra, that could help. Uh, what to bring? What to bring? And I'm going to bring my own Kingdra. Um, Maybe leave a thunderous. Uh, this could be a difficult one. Um, have Zassian in the back, and that's that's two electric Pokemon to worry about. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bring Kyogre. Probably bad for me to bring it, but I'll bring it. <laughs> So I'm thinking it's gonna they're gonna be leading with say uh, Raichu fake out. I think or uh, no. Yeah, at least one of our lead can protect. Uh, okay, here we go. Alright, so They've got their own Kingdra. We can come in with Max Wormwind. Um, what I will do is I will Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave their Kingdra so that it's not going to be outspeeding mine.
Of course, what I've uh, failed to realise is that I haven't set Rain Dance yet. That was silly of me. Ah, but they, they take out Thingy. Was that DOS? Okay. Right, so I think I'm maybe faster? I'm not sure. Fuck, I'm really shy now. Gonna see double down max? Yeah, we are. Okay. So I've seen Kingdra, Zamazenta, Zapdos. What else could they bring? Not Kyogre, I guess. Right, have some of that. Ah, oh, nearly got him. <laughs> so nearly. Ah, oh, we managed to get paralysis on him, so that's that's also good. Right. Impulse against their Zapdos. And then Max Geyser. That's their Dynamax taken care of. And I'm hoping. We should have taken some of the damage output from their uh, Zapdos. They could still do Tailwind. That's a problem. But they're going to do Thunder instead. Which we live, that's fine. Kyogre? There it is. Alright. Uh, hmm. I think I'm fine with going with a Max Geyser here. Yeah. What Pokemon have I got now? Um, so I brought Zacian and Kyogre in the back. Yeah, we've we've got this. All right. Um, Max guys are into you, and then we're going to do Thunderbolt into the Kyogre. Yeah, basically they brought the wrong lead. <laughs> Oh, it's a bulky Kyogre. Still hurts like it hits like a truck. <laughs> Alright, so now I've got our Zacian, which can do play rough. Kingdra, we focus on the uh, Zamazenta. Should be faster. Yeah, what do I want to do? Go for Muddy Water. That's an option. Go Drake and Meteor. 
go muddy water and go for a go for a play rough into the uh, into the Kyogre I think try that That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> right. Now my turn. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Come on, that's not fair. Oh. That makes up for it. <laughs> uh, right. and <laughs> there we go. Right, there we go. I think that's that's ours. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna go Origin Pulse and Play Rough. Boom. Oh, there we go. That's <laughs> nice. Nice easy one to get through that one. Yeah, so not not to say about that. The uh, I think the I think it was just basically the um, their their lead to start off with didn't help them out versus my lead. So yeah, what did I do? I, I mean, I feel like I made a misplay on the first first turn, which was I didn't go for rain dance, but that actually helped me because the. Um, yeah, because what did they do? They 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 switched out their um their Zaman's Enter on turn one. Had they kept that out and done play rough against my um, Kingdra, then that that would have gone differently, I think. So I think I think I got lucky, but we'll take that. <laughs> right, moving on to the next match. Okay, this might be the last. Oh, there we go, rank eight. Let's keep going. Um, so this may be the last match of the stream, and then I'll go to bed. <laughs> there you go, some more battle points. We love that. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely liking um, Series 12 so far. Right, next match. Okay, so we're up against a Kyogre and then Shadow Calyrex. And they've also got Thunderous, Whimsicott, Entei, and Regieleki. So, what do I bring? Um, I can get Swift Swim up. But then we're worried about the... Um... If I go with... Right, Incineroar will, will pressure Camurex, which is good. Uh, if I bring Thunderous, now I can do Thunder Wave. Whether or not they think that they need to bring Whimsicott to this match. I think they'll see Swift Swim and then maybe they'll go for it. Um, I'm going to go Thunderous here, just be, be weird. Alright, um... Kyogre in the back. And do I want Kartan or Gorzassian? I feel like I want Kingra here. 
I feel like I want my full water line up here. Go that. Uh, I probably should have gone with uh, Cartana, but never mind. But this is the whole point. The matches start to get harder as you go up. <laughs> Thunderous Radio Decky. Cinnamon Thunderous. Oh, it's that kind of Thunderous, okay. Oh, he's going to go for... Oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Karma. <laughs> In the last match where I had the better leads, now I've got the worst lead. I wasn't expecting a Defiant Thunderous. So, fair play. <laughs> So, wow. Well, it knocks out the incineral. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get get out of this now. Mm. But who are they up against? Uh, so they've got a. Let me, let me try this. Let's see if we can get a max. I don't think I'm in a good position here, but we'll try our best. Obviously I've got them scratching their head, which is good, I guess, even if I lose. The uh, that fun uh, that Regieleki has got a uh, plus one speed. They're, they're just going to hit us with Electro Web now. Oh no, Thunderbolt. Okay. Oh, luckily, we lit that. Oh, so close. sucks. <laughs> now it's just going to like keep snowballing. Um, so what have we got in the back? Um, show me my options. Just Kyogre against the Thunderouses that had like two speed boosts. <laughs> I don't fancy my chances. We can... No, see, it's 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 gone. Um, I think I may have to concede that one because I don't see how I'm going to get through that. Yeah, you have to cut my losses on that one. I don't really think there's much else I can learn from that match. 
other than I led poorly. <laughs> I mean, I got caught off, off guard. Uh, got caught off guard by the um, defiant thunderous. So that, that was unfortunate. I don't don't think when I was looking at the team preview, there's anything that could have sort of led me to think that that was a defiant thunderous. So it's, it's really it's, it's actually quite hard to find out what what um, what thunderous they've been running. All right, never mind. Ooh. Okay. Um, so we have actually got time for one more, seeing as I just almost effectively rage quit that one. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't call it a rage quit because I actually you know, pressed the buttons to end the match rather than disconnect my switch, which some people do. <laughs> right, this will be the last one. Right, can we get can we get a win for our last match? Day. Okay, so we're up against a well, a Zassian Kyoga team. Uh, they got Reggie Draco, Whimsicott, uh, Driftblim, and then they've got Alolan Ninetales. Okie dokie. Um, so what to go with here? So if I go Kingdra Thunderous, that could be fairly good for me. But I could go Incineroar Thunderous. That feels even better, I think. Yeah, considering what I'm up against here. So, yeah, Incineroar against Whimsicott, yes. Against Zacian, that'd be good. Against Driftblim, yes. Uh, Thunderous against Kyogre is fairly good. Against Driftblim, yes. Um, then I want. I want, I want. I feel like Katana's good here. Katana would be good if I can get it in the right position. And then finally, I feel like looking at the rest of them, I think Kyogre's probably good here. So we'll go with that. Okay, let's round this off. So what do they bring? They bring Whimsicott and Kyogre, okay. And we're going to bring Incineroar and Thunderous. They're going to they're gonna bring Drizzle for us. We want to sack that Whimsicott as quick as possible. So fake out the Whimsicott. I feel like we're gonna have to do Thunderbolt against the. Uh... Oh no! Wait, we can we can do eerie Ir impulse. No, 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 mm -mm. no. They, they'd be expecting us to um, knock out their water spout, so I'm just gonna lower their special attack instead. Uh, missed a bit of the stream because I was teaching the class. What did I miss? Um, well, we've we've got up to rank eight, and. Yeah, we're just we're just finishing off the uh, the stream now here. So um, yeah, so this will be the last one. We had I think one loss at rank eight. So that wasn't too bad. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, not not much missed. Um, just to um, finish off what I was saying. Uh, da, 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 da. I think bring my own Kyogre. 
and we'll try Eerie Impulse again. If they're going to go Tailwind, which they, which I reckon they are, I want to try and stall them out. Oh, it's going to be torn. Okay, I should I should have realised that was going to happen. Ah, yikes. Ah, Life Orb Kyoga, okay. Um, this is hard because I don't think I've got a good position here now. Basically I just got caught caught by surprise by Taunt on the Whimsicott, which is silly because Taunt is quite a common move on Whimsicott. Incineroar or Kartana. They haven't done them. Um, they haven't done Tailwind yet. But they might now. So maybe I maybe I Dynamax now. Just to hopefully live this uh, water spout that's coming. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna they're gonna go exactly the same. I really should have done Thunderbolt instead of Eerie Impulse of the uh, Thunderous. Once I revealed that that's what I was gonna do, quite easy for them to just do Taunt with uh, Whimsicott. Here comes Tailwind. Okay, can we survive Max Geyser? Katana. Oh, just about. Thank God. In that case, have some of this. <laughs> right, and then we should be able to get an ice beam onto Wimscott. Yeah, that was. That was a, a critical KO. <laughs> I did not want that thing to live. <laughs> but of course, now I've got to worry because I've got a Zacian on the opposing side that's going to be coming out in a minute. I don't have the speed boosts that they have. What's this one? Regidraco. I've got no idea what the speed is of Regidraco. I know that um, a load of nine towers is going to be fairly fast. I think. Right, what have I got in the back? Just an incineral. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good for me. Right. The incineral could. Oh, the tailwind's gone. No, tailwind is still there. Okay. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go for this. I don't really think I've really got much choice. <laughs> they could probably blizzard me for the win. Or do that. <laughs> That's another way they could do it. Yeah. Catching me 
I'm just getting caught caught by surprise now. So this is this is where the, the matches get a bit harder. Oh, they had freeze dry as well, so they they had more than enough options to take care of me. All right, yeah, we've, we've just got an Incineroar now, which is no match for both of those Pokemon. Do we do we try? We we can try if we want. <laughs> Just want to see what else this uh, Reggie Draco can do. Nah, it's just it's just it's just going to keep doing Dragon Energy, isn't it? That's a hard hitting move. Now the problem is I'm going to get taken to uh, the Royal Veil is going to come up so I knew that was going to happen um, but I'm in, in danger of knocking myself out with Flare Blitz now yeah I, th I, th I think we're done <laughs> all it takes is one more Dragon Energy and well, I'm, I'm gone That's an unfortunate way to close off the stream, but um, yeah, because now, now we should be coming against uh, up against more um, more competent teams. So now, now it makes makes it more worth it to um, go on showdown and just like practice the team more, and then also play more of the uh, battle stadium as well. Because I think I think that the um, the teams that I see on battle stadium are different. To the um, the ones on the showdown, I guess probably because the showdown is easier to put teams together, so you'll just see more variety there, more weird gimmicks compared to uh, on here, I think. All right, uh, yeah, so yeah, I think I think basically I just I just lost outright there. <laughs> the I think what I what I'm coming up against, um, so I see Whimsicott. Um, so my instinct there is to just fake it out so it can't do Tailwind on turn 1. Um, I made a mistake when I played because I did, tried Eerie Impulse against Kyogre. Kyogre went Protect so it didn't hit it. And then I tried to do it again on the next turn not knowing that the opponent's uh, Whimsicott had um, Taunt. So they just taunted me. Um, I wasted the move with uh, Thunderous because then couldn't use Eerie Impulse and then that freed up their Kyogre to just do Water Spout and just knock out a lot of my Pokemon. So um, yeah I, I fell for that and then they had had Reggie Draco that just seems to hit really hard <laughs> which surprised me because I, I don't don't think I've seen Reggie Draco that often on, on teams but then I've been out of the loop for a few months. Okay uh, that's my conclusion for that one. <laughs> All right, um, so that's that's basically it for the stream. Um, so that was actually pretty good. Um, I yeah, I enjoyed myself. Um, enjoyed getting back into it, um, playing some VGC matches. Um, the team I've got is imperfect. Um, I need to need to make some tweaks to it, make some adjustments, or I think. I think the problem I've got with the team is because I'm going with uh, Kingdra as as part of the um, team lineup, it does affect what other Pokemon I bring. So I've got uh, Kingdra, so I've got Zacian and Kyogre. That's that's the pairing I've got. Um, I've got Kingdra because I want it to benefit from Swift Swim. The Kingdra would be my Dynamax go-to on the team. Um, then I've got Thunderous, which can set up Brain Dance to help out Kingdra. But then the last two Pokemon, that's that's what I'm having difficulties with um, with putting on to the team. So I've got Incineroar there just as a fake out user. Um, I think he's things up fairly well. Um, Kartana, Kartana was actually putting putting in a good amount of work. It's just I need to know, need to be conscious of. Um, Speed tides, well, um, what what speed tiers I'm at, 
so I know that I'm not going to be outsped by something and then something is just going to destroy Kartana before it has any, any chance to do anything. So that that would be just up to me to basically read up on speed tiers for this for this uh, this series. But I should be able to get it down. Um, yeah, but I've, 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 I think I do need to change some of the Pokemon in this team to get it get it a bit more balanced. So big, I think there's, there is a fairly big weakness to electric types on this team. There's no real resistance to it. So that that'd be probably what I work on. And then yeah, so yeah, I didn't really see a lot of uh, grass type moves, so that was good. So yeah, we'll we'll have a think about it. So that'll be on the next stream. Um, I'll try to get another team together. Um, we're doing this once a week at the moment. Um, so probably next Friday will be my next stream. Uh, we'll we'll carry on. Uh, see see if we can get up to uh, Master Ball rank. Um, hopefully by then you'll see a, a tweaked team, uh, which has maybe a couple of changes, a couple of changes of move sets and stuff. Um, hopefully to make it a uh, a bit better. So hopefully look forward to that. Um, so right, um, yeah, and uh, I'll see you next week. So I'm just going to reel off the uh, outro um, just so I can capture it for the uh, YouTube video eventually, and and we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, bid each other farewell. All right, so here we go. All right, so yeah, that was the that was the end of the stream. Uh, so hope hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think about the team in the um, in comments or through through my Twitter feeds. Um, I will be back next week. Um, until then, um, I've got my links to my social media. So I've got the uh, YouTube there. That's the uh, that's linked to my channel. And then also there's a link to my uh, Twitter page as well. Um, so you can check those out. Uh, I've been Duke Pro Brain. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>